When we look at the inverted bucket trap, there's many features and benefits. But to truly understand the superiority of this trap compared to other types, we really need to look at it in depth at an engineering level. One of the first engineering practices we want to look at is the misnomer of live steam passing through the bucket vent and downstream of the trap into the condensate return line. The bucket vent is sized to only pass one half of the radiant heat loss of the entire surface area of the body of the trap. So in other words, the surface area of the trap emits more heat than can pass through the bucket vent. Therefore, any steam that passes through the bucket vent will be condensed in the surrounding liquid. No steam can enter the top of the trap and or be pushed downstream of the trap through the orifice. 